Creo, keeping your memories close to heart. Are you crazy, Warren? Seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? You couldn't look me in the eye for months after the accident. And then you call to say you want to be a... a lumberjack? Okay, look, I get it. I was with you at that stupid Creo World show. To be able to walk again, I get it, I do. But to give your body over to that company, don't do this, Warren. Creo isn't the answer. Right. Yeah, anyways. I know I do this. I always I take forever to explain stuff. The main character is infected with the parasite. I mean, the parasite is like a little worm thing that crawls. Tries to crawl on his ear, but is stuck in his arm. And it takes over his arm. And they have to live... Basic, it should be it should be named like symbiotic or something instead because it's not you know the the, the par a parasitic organism takes and doesn't give back the thing in the anime is more symbiotic or symbiotic if you want to go by the early trailers of Venom <laughs> it's actually a good movie got to run a scene eventually uh yeah it uh, basically helps him defends him from the monsters who try to kill him while also you know having nutrients and surviving I think going back I'm wait this is the same area I don't want to die. Please help me. did the door close on me what's going on oh oh I think I need to make that jump now I think about it I don't want to die. Please help me. well as far as jumps go it could be much worse uh yeah, no, it's 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 a good it's a good anime. Very serious, you know. It's it's not like oh no, uh, senpai song doesn't didn't say hi to me this morning. I wonder if they dislike me. Ooh, pouty face. Oh, oh. it's more like hey, um, so these things are like taking over the world, and we need to find out why and stop them. Also, they're in government now, and police officers and this one has like multiple in them and they're mutating and growing and learning and uh oh it's very good it's a very good anime uh... oh well that makes that jump easy no, there's no jump easier than the, the only jump easier than a small jump is a no jump I don't I don't know anymore oh there's probably an item over there there's over here. Seriously, please. but if there is, I don't, I don't think I can even get there. Oh, oh, that thing freaks me out. It is very freaky. Don't fall off, please. Endurance enhancement. Eh. I mean, I'm getting a lot of these. I'm probably gonna scrap them later for extra scrap and do the glitch a bit to get levels. Or maybe I'll just let them rot in my inventory. I don't know. Seriously, I think this DLC came before the Augment one, the uh, Frontier one, which I think it was the last DLC. And seriously, these Augments, these implants, broke the game.
<laughs> I gotta admit, seeing his shadow, that's actually pretty, that's actually kind of intimidating. So, for the lore, for those who don't know, Carbon Cat is the evil villain in comparison to the Iron Mouse, the hero, and Rusty Rat, his brave sidekick. I don't know, his something sidekick. Hey, I tried to contact you, but I couldn't get your signal. I picked up a distress beacon from someone down there. Keep an eye out. I think I have a feeling who that distress beacon is from. Don't hit me, sir. I. Ooh, he dodged. Nice, nice. Okay. I'm gonna need. Okay, it's it's a little wider than I imagine it being. Why am I doing this? I don't need this. Ugh. Oh my god. You have no idea how clenched I was back then. Back then? How clenched I was just now. The fact that I'm saying back then, it really shows it. Jeez. So, oh. Ooh. Carbine whip cable. I think that's the way forward. Yes, because this is unlocked, which usually, which always means, I'm just going to outright say it, which always means it's a shortcut. Heck yeah, dude. Whew. Sorry, I just, I really don't like heights. It, it, it really messes with me. So let me just dump this 40k in here. It's actually kind of a, a lot. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have, I have many more HPs that I can equip. Sure. I mean, I, mean, I have the points for it. It gives me... Oh. Okay. Well, it gives me a little bit more HP. It's always nice. No, I didn't think so. There's nothing here. So I was a little freaked out when I I didn't see my armor in here. I guess it, I guess it was because I didn't have any cores, which you know I actually had no cores left. So okay, yeah, I did unlock that. That was like the last shortcut in the first half. <sighs> okay, sorry. I'm just I'm just stressing because there's a really stressful part coming up. We can rescue that dude, or he will perish. I'm gonna aim to try to rescue him. But it's gonna be a tad difficult. How dare you? Let me take this guy out and then I'll use your healing. Don't, oh, don't do that. Never do that combo here. That is, wow, I freaking love that. I can't, I can't, oof, so excited. Second game is gonna have even more that create, oh, is he limited time? That's lame. That's really lame. I thought the backpack just stayed there because, you know, he was there. What is, is that coming from the pipe? Ooh. Oh, okay, I don't have to climb the, that. Well, since you offered, let me get this guy first. Hey, buddy. All right, if you're just going to chill there, I'm going to check out down here. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, oh, that's really good. I'm really glad I did that. Actually, uh, fine. I just need to check it. I've, I've been needing this, actually. That's not what I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was the one that gave me more energy. When I uh, hit, no, that was no. Hold on, I thought it was the one that allowed me to turn energy into healing. What the heck is this? That, that all right? That was blocked off. Clearly, I have to activate something before I can go in there. Oh, or is it here? Oh, excuse me. Well, get out of there. Uh, you know what? This is a good opportunity to use their healing things. Or, I guess, I, I can't because for reasons. Ooh, a charge. By the way, if you're looking to get a very certain achievement, 
that is a very good spot. This is a very good spot to, say, back up your save. Or something. Because... Is, uh... Is gonna get... Is gonna get dangerous. Covered pitcher. Oh! Hey there! It's me and you here. Uh, robot. Where kinetic converter? Eh, it's fine. Is this an another shortcut? It seems a little cl soon, close. It's a little close to be a shortcut of something. Oh. Oh no. They're starting to mutate. Oh, this door. Okay. I guess that's a bit of a shortcut. I mean, if it unlocks to the main plaza, sure. All right. So, if you there's a certain achievement that you can only you only have one chance to get. By the way, uh, if you want to get it, pop a save, and by that I mean back up your saves or something, because you have one chance to get this. Starting now. safe now. Everything okay? Oh my god. My god. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, I thought it was a goner. I'm shivering all over. That was so damn close. I'm, I'm hell. Phew. Thank you. Look, I, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm getting out of here before that crazy cat shows up again. Do you have any idea why that cat mascot was trying to blow you up? Are you kidding? I, I don't have any idea why any of this crazy shit is going on. I'm just a guy stuck in a rat suit on the worst day of his life. But, but, uh, it's gotta have something to do with that, uh, stuff. I mean, you, you've seen it too, right? That shiny black and purple group that moves all by itself? I don't know what it is, but the carbon cat mascot got covered in it. I mean, that thing wasn't exactly nice before. It was always programmed to act like an asshole. It also pretended it wanted me and Iron Mouse dead, but now it's gone totally insane. Like, the goop corrupted its processes, made the synth think it was actually carbon cat? That thing is dangerous, man. What do you mean you're stuck in your rat suit? Well, a uh, funny story, uh, really. Um, okay, it's not so much that I'm uh, stuck exactly. It's uh, that, well, I'm not exactly uh, wearing anything underneath. Yeah, and the locker room is at the bottom of that sinkhole, uh, probably surrounded by crazy killer robots. Not the biggest problem anyone's having today, but uh, awkward. So what's your story? What do you do here? Uh, how you doing? Name's Ralph, and I'm nobody interesting, just a, just a dude trapped inside a rusty rat costume. <laughs> Story of my life, you know. I actually applied uh, for the QA supervisor position at Creo, but this, uh, but this other dude got the job. Totally uh, not qualified. Seriously, a uh, bogus move on their part, but hey, uh, they must have felt bad about it. Because they invited me to be an official mascot of the park, uh, which isn't so bad when you think about it, right? Right? Live long and prosper out there, dude. I see they have Star Trek in the future. Yes, uh, if you take too long or if you die huh, during that segment, that dude absolutely perishes. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. I think he... I mean, I'm sure he gives something other than backstory and dialogue. Once you... Uh, Meet him back at the operation center. Fall into my dastardly trap. It won't be 
what you deserve. How is ruining my plans? Soon I will destroy you and your do-gooder sidekick. Once and for all, along with anyone who stands in my way. <laughs> Mm, a little too melodramatic for my taste and I <laughs> a little too melodramatic for my taste and I was part of drama club okay I mean fine I guess it's he is like a Saturday morning cartoon ooh I like that I guess he is I feel like Iron Mouse is like a Saturday morning cartoon but Whatever, dude. Ooh. Eh. Not really entranced by scrap anymore, you know? What the heck? Why can't I use it? I'm not sure. Oops. Look at that. 77 health, man. Back when we started the game, that was like... That would have been almost certainly death. Get a little further away from the edge, please. Wow. Wow. Just, you can go nuts. Ooh, really? I feel like wearing Iron Mouse right now. And you'll find out why in just a second. I love the custom music. Uh, gear lights. Now, let me, let me give you a better look at this. It's actually, it's actually really cool. Very, I mean... It's Iron Mouse, because, you know, Iron Man. It also looks like Iron Man Mark 1, which is pretty rad. So let's go in this. Oh, there he is. There's Carbon Cat, my arch nemesis and foe, in this clearly not a battle arena. Let's give it a go. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, no. He's got nanite tentacles. Ooh. Well, luckily for me, I have almost unlimited pools of health and massive damage. Wowie. I mean, my damage and my armor, I guess in this case, pretty much, I'm just going to focus on my damage at this point. My damage output is very limited. You know, it's not like I have augments that are like, do X more damage. Although, I guess technically I do because of the, uh, what are these? Because of these guys. So, you know what? Never mind. I'm augmented to heck and back. That's a little bit more... Uh, not oppressive. A little bit more uh, scary. Also, far more health. Yes, I would like my shield, please. Ooh. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this end of a season... End of a comic run battle of epic proportions. Ooh. Not today. Not t <laughs> Okay, maybe today. Where's my shield, dude? Oh. Oh, he's got the cool little the trash tornado, which... Ooh, game developers put for people with, like, telekinesis and stuff, because they're like, eh... Hey. It's telekinesis, so he, they love stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so powerful. I'm an unstoppable god. Now I'm having a lot of fun with this game. After all the, the gruff and tough this game had put me through, it's nice to feel so powerful for once. Take that, Carbon Cat. Now the weapon is it. What? Ooh. I like just, like, what can we use for weapons? We have swords, we have axes, we have cool customized things. Just rip out part of the wire. It is a heavy duty. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you know what? The hey, it's a keyblade. It's a keyblade. <laughs> I'm guessing the version 1 is is dual wield, because that's what I was expecting. Ah, bit of a bummer. But, yeah. To get its version 2, you need to be Iron Mouse for the fight. Pretty cool, I must say. Oh, okay. Well, oh my gosh. Oh, that's such a cool structure. It's nice and purple, too. My favorite colors. One of my favorite color. I like purple and green. It's kind of 
kind of not it's kind of silly because whenever i <laughs> i make like a for example in gta i customize my car my cars i always go bright purple bright green emerald green looks like joker <laughs> joker cars i can't help it if if the man's got good taste in colors you know nothing all right any special rewards or is it just hey you beat the dlc congrats Ooh. i'll charge that oh it's a 72 so maybe i'll get the uh, nano nanoids oh i got nanoids I got the, the, the Noids. Oh, I hope two is enough to upgrade my... My, uh... Chest piece. So I was expecting something there. Here we go. One voicemail recovered from previous visit. Creo. Keeping your memories close to heart. Look, Warren. I know I can't talk you out of this. I hope Creo works out for you. I really do. Remember that t-shirt you wanted when we were at the park? And I told you it was stupid? Iron Mouse? Well, I bought you one. It's not stupid. It's important. To you. I get that. I want you to wear it when you go for your interview today. Okay? Good luck in there, sugar. Now, I need to point out... That is fantastic of her. Because... Just because... He's a grown man who's like, yeah, I like the comic book Iron Mouse. You know, it's a cool character. I'm a fan of it. I got a collectible and everything. If someone's like, that's stupid. You're a grown man and you like cartoons. That person, don't be don't be with that person. Don't be friends with that person because that person is toxic. If it's a little too much, though, like, uh, let's say, bronies back in the day. Yikes. Uh, let me go in the light. Step into the light, my friend. If it's like a brony situation... Yeah, maybe that's a little too much when they have like dozens of figurines and they have body pillows and stuff. But if you're, you know, a fan who's like, yeah, I like Iron Mouse. I have a t-shirt. I have a figurine. I even dressed as him for Halloween at one point. That's cool. You know, you have you have uh, interest. You have likes. You shouldn't be ashamed of that. People shouldn't make you ashamed of that. The fact that his girlfriend gave him a present and is like, I may not be super enthused that you like Iron Mouse. But you like him, and it's important to you, and I recognize that, and I'm sorry for making you feel bad about it. That is good uh, maturity, and that girlfriend deserves a second chance if she's still alive after the apocalypse. Which, we don't know. I mean, you guys will probably know. I'll probably know by the time this airs, but... Such a shame. But basically what I was trying to say is... If you're willing to, to forgive him, say, I'm sorry, I made you feel insecure or I tried to or I made you feel bad about your interest. It's important to you. I may not like it. I may not care for it. I may not be entirely enthused that you like it, but it's important to you. Then it's important to me. Of course, that only extends for things like liking comic books when you're 30, not like, you know, murder or anything like that if you're a grown man who, who likes cartoons and stuff like watching cartoons sometimes more power to you bud nothing wrong with that hey if I if I I have a soft spot in my heart for Looney Tunes you know I saw it back in the day oh oh we're back here oh it looped around look at that look at that low looping that looping. That thing. Carbon cat mascot was beyond out of control. I'm just glad you survived. But listen, I finally hacked the encrypted mission briefing the boardroom sent to my chief. It explains a lot. The search and rescue team is currently hiring. Apply now. Are you all right? I think your team didn't make it. I'm afraid you might be right. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to save lives here, not lose them. I guess I'm the last one left in my squad. I'm not going to rescue anyone, but at least I can use my skills to find out why all this happened. What else do you know? It's like they knew something was going to happen. 
They wanted my search and rescue squad on high alert patrolling Creole world for the past couple months. We've been watching for signs of failure in an electromagnetic containment field below the park. That's right. Below the park. And what were they keeping down there? Huh. Would you be shocked to know it was that black nanite sludge? Turns out, Creo was working on creating some kind of self-replicating nanotechnology called Project Utopia. Were you able to uncover anything else about this Project Utopia? From what I've been able to hack, this Project Utopia may be at the root of everything that happened here. Apparently, the Resolve program has had serious problems for years. Project Utopia was some sort of plan B. So they started working on nanites. Looks like a single Utopia rocket could disperse them through damn near the whole atmosphere. It would achieve the same result as hundreds of Resolve rockets. Huh. So what's the downside, you ask? I think the nanites programming got fried, just like everything else. Now, they're replicating like crazy. This place isn't safe. We've done what we can. We should get you out of here. Actually, I've been thinking I should stay here for now. Official troops are going to arrive at some point. Someone will need to guide them, run operations for them. But thank you for everything. Without you, I'd never have known what had happened to my team. I would always have to wonder. You should go back to the factory. Try to find the board room. It's clear the board knows exactly what is happening. I'm sure you'll find the answers. Here's a map to the executive forum. Good luck, my friend. Good luck out there. Oh, hey! Whoa! No sudden movements, all right? It's a long way down. You know what Everything I mean? Everything all right? Huh? As long as Iron Mouse is on my side, I shall have no fear! <laughs> Everything all right? As long as... Live oh, I expected him to do more than that. Can't jump down, get an item? Probably don't wanna. I mean, hey, Rusty Rat, maybe you shouldn't be standing on that side of the building. <laughs> uh, so, there's nothing else to do in this DLC now. We have fully completed everything. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna change the rig. I. We'll change it to this weird Eva suit. <laughs> Get in the Exo Armor Shinji. But can I upgrade my... Oh, can I upgrade my chest piece? <gasps> I can! I can't! I can't! <laughs> I'm one away! No! Dang it, dude. Uh, We'll get that eventually. We still have like two or three more areas in the game. And they... Every area... I'm pretty sure every area has at least one set of nano core uh lo lo from locations um yeah i'm gonna save these i really don't need to do any more level grinding unless i really want to i'll probably do it you know i'll probably do it like right before like the very end of the game just to get overpowered and get nuts but uh yeah that was creo world pretty cool dlc uh, I, I appreciate that there were more living people who aren't like drug addicts or, or mentally unstable who are, well, besides Rusty Rat over there, but the operator dude, pretty pretty cool dude, you know, pretty pretty decent, pretty stable fella. Deployed, missing, 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 dead. Yikes. That was pretty cool DLC. I, I hope there's a, it adds life to it. like, hey, there's still, you know, a decent, normal, mentally sound fella standing around who's not like a drug addict or a murderer or something so that was pretty cool